When talking to someone who's never played Escape from Tarkov, what they'd think about giving the old girl a try. I typically hear the same old things. I really don't have time. I hear bugs are still plaguing the game. And a reason that sticks out like a steaming pile of shit on the kitchen floor. Cheating. But I recently just picked the game up again about four months into this wipe. And this is the first time I took a shot at grinding it out this late into the cycle. And let me tell you, something is different. Oh, f he's gonna kill me. Oh, no! Oh, that guy f cooked me quick. Damn. Well, maybe not all things are different. What has changed, though, really comes down to three things. And I believe this is due to it being so late into the wipe when I decided to start my grind. After all these hours, I must say, a dollar short and a day late seems to be my style. Dummy dumb! Get rolled! And the first reason is, Escape from Tarkov is far less busy, as popularity oh in these God. types of extraction, looty, shooty, wipey type games tends to decline. And that is not a bad thing, because playing in high pop early game is like getting your nuts caught in a bear trap at every turn you make. Come on, get the f*** out of here with the leg. Secondly, all of the high demand items on the flea market are far cheaper, making it easier to upgrade your hideout. And the Italiano in me really loves a good discount. I can't declare X amount of my income. The last and probably most important reason is that the incentive for cheaters isn't nearly as high, as the need to have OP gear before everyone else does is no longer there. I've been playing this game for like a week straight, and I do believe I've not run into a single one of those window licking, low life, basement dwelling mother f pieces of sh assholes. Sorry, sorry, I, I did lose track there for a second, but as problematic as this game might seem, after all this time playing it, this is truly the first time I felt like I've experienced the excitement of Escape from Get Tarkov, and the addiction is setting in. I just shat on somebody with a Mosin. Get him. I got one guy. Damn it. And with all that being said, and wipe still roughly two months away, mm -hmm. it's time to hop back into the I game and it. begin some tasks of my own, so I can level traders in order to use some more of my favorite oh, weapons in the game. GPU, and where better to start than on factory, to get my last PMC kill with a bolty under 25 meters away. My hopes are that I can get this done quickly and move on to my next task. Oh shit. And we're spawn. Get wrecked. I oh, was doing his Mosin mission too. Oh. <laughs> With that out of the way and a quick return to my hideout, I can start to look toward higher paying tasks that will help me progress further. Fortunately, the one we just completed will be the last thing that comes easy for the rest of the day, so it's best to break things up with a quick scav run to top off my profits. Let's go to interchange then, since you're the fucking interchange expert. The only thing, I'll be honest, it's sure. different now. So do you like big nipples or just like the pointy ones? Uh, I like them uh, big, big pancake ones actually. The bigger the better. Ones that got like an inch of riser on the nipples. Just <laughs> like a rim. Just one with that big blue vein leading all the way down to that pancake <laughs> nipple. <laughs> oh, there's two people right in front of us. People? Like what? Scabs. Look at them running around. They're all scared and shit. Bro, look at them run. <laughs> oh, God. Fuck out of here. It's my loot, bitch. Come here. <laughs> There's another one at Jacob and Jacob in the middle aisle. PMC Juice Boy. Oh, you died. It's right on the corner of the. Right on your right. Right on your right. Immediately on your right. Deep corner. I think I got him. He killed you. Yeah, like on a stray bullet. I just died to a stray bullet. Six. Ah, uh, well, I killed one. Seems to me it has not been common to survive many raids so far, but it always feels good getting a PMC kill regardless. 
But despite my best efforts to level up and accomplish tasks, I'm always looking to improve my PvP experience and hopefully someday have a raid where I can make a couple of kills and get out with my life. The tasks on streets are starting to pile up, so for me, we need to take our journey there and hopefully get some kills along the way. Fucking dropped him. It's hard not to feel like sometimes this game just is not for you after dying in every raid you've played. In saying that, this fight was undeniably the most fun I've ever had in Tarkov and I hope is a sign of improvement. Determined to have a successful raid, I look back into streets for another try. How many times does that scab and voice line that shit? Is this thing supposed to be? There it is. All right. Dummy, that guy. See that play? Wonder if I can loot him. Hmm. It would be cool. It would be cool. some on them.
Jesus, Lord. What I might do is drop my gun down here and my armor. Highly stressed, we get the fuck out of here. Itch case kind of crazy, isn't it? And just like that, my first successful raid in Escape from Tarkov. So hopefully I haven't convinced you to hop back into the game even this late into wipe. Because I am by no means a good player and I think anyone could hop in and really enjoy the intensity of the game. Thanks for watching. If you stayed this far, consider subscribing and uh, I'll be back again, hopefully with some better videos for you.